Hi guys and welcome back to another All Heart video. For today's video, I wanted to share with you the items that my husband and I picked up for our three little ones. Uh, this is a very highly requested video every year and I really enjoy making this video for you guys. I'm sorry that it was kind of uh, later in December. It's just tough to get packages in, especially where we live now, um, since we're just a little bit more remote. Um, but hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it gives you a few more ideas as we're about a little under two weeks uh, away from Christmas. I can't believe how fast it's come up already. Um, but yeah, so I've got a few packages to go through. I know this is kind of a different scenery. I'm hiding out in my bedroom from the three peeking eyes that are on the other side. And I've been basically stashing all of my packages in here. Um, we're like bursting at the seams. So uh, let's go through this video. I figured I would start off with the items that I picked up for my youngest, who is 11 months. She just turned 11 months. I can't believe that she's almost gonna be one. It just, it goes by so, so fast. Um, if you love videos like this and you want to see more Montessori videos from me, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So the first item that I picked up for my daughter, uh, you can see it right here, um, is a walker. And I went through so many different ones and, you know, I basically scour all of the reviews and this one was the one that was more highly rated. I had one for my uh, daughter who is now four and a half and that one I used to have to put like a weight on it just so that it wouldn't topple over. So that was really important this time around that I found one that was not going to do that and from all of the reviews that I was reading, it said that this particular one did not do that. So uh, that basically won me over, um, especially even the design. So let me go ahead and lift it because I have not set it up yet. Like I said, I've just kind of been opening packages so that I could film this for you guys, but I do have to build it. But this is the Hoppy Wagon. So like I said, it has so many great reviews and I'm really excited to set this up for her. I'm going to have to do that within the next couple of days. Uh, but if you guys are looking for a walker for your little one who is just starting to take their first steps, um, this is definitely one, like I said, that I scoured the reviews on and there are a lot, a lot of reviews on this one. So again, it is the Hoppy Wagon. So the second item that I picked up was from Hearth and Hand and it's this uh, child rotary phone. I just thought it was the cutest thing. I think it's gonna look so cute on her little shelf. My daughter's always trying to uh, grab my phone and she puts it up to her ear. So I think this is something that she's going to love. Um, it does spin up front. She is able to lift up the, uh, the handle, the receiver, and then in the back she'll be able to play with the little bell. So it actually does sound like it's ringing. So I just thought it was super cute. Uh, again, like I said, this was from Hearth and Hand. So the next item that I picked up for my youngest is the Monty Kids Push Toy. Now this one, I believe they usually sell it with in a set, um, but I purchased this one separately from a, a vendor online. Um, so it was nice because then I didn't have to purchase a whole bunch of uh, other toys. I could just purchase this one. So let me go ahead and show it to you. I absolutely love the size of this. It's so like tiny. Look, it fits right on the screen. So um, she'll be able to push this around. And it's got all of the different colored little balls in here. I love the sound that it makes. It's not something that's going to be... Um, you know, like those super uh, obnoxious ones that just are, are really, really loud. This one actually has a really pleasing sound and it's all made out of wood. Um, I've always liked the, uh, Monty Kids brand. I have, a, a couple of things from them, so I knew it was going to be good quality. And like I said, I love the size. So I know that my daughter's really going to like this one. So the next item that I picked up for her is this Holtz Tiger Giraffe. Um, it's actually very surprising that we didn't already have this. Um, and the reason is because we had like a different brand, but that one unfortunately broke 
during our move here. So I was like, okay, if we're gonna replace it, it's gotta be Holtz Tiger because I know this is not going to break. So I know that she's going to love these. Um, she already loves a lot of the Holtz Tiger toys and she's always um, cupping one in her hand, especially the little duck that I've showed you in the past. But this is going to be really nice to add to um, their growing collection. So I think that was um, everything that I picked up for my youngest. Now let's move on to the items that we picked up for our four and a half year old daughter. Um, these are the items that I've just been so like excited to share with you guys because I absolutely love them too. And I think it's just going to look so beautiful um, with the rest of her Ostheimer collection. So I know that last year I showed you her tower castle. Um, that we picked up for her. And this year we picked up Snow White's Cottage. So this is it right here. And it's a really great size, you guys. Sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, Ostheimer is so expensive. But when you look at the quality, the weight, the, um, the size of these items, I mean, they're gonna last you forever. My youngest is gonna be able to play with this. Uh, maybe in the future, my grandchildren uh, will be able to play with this. So they really are heirloom toys. Um, I also picked up the tiny little bird that you see right there. And oh, it's just so beautiful. I know that she is just gonna be over the moon with this one. So let me show you just a few little close-ups and a few little angles, and then I'll show you what I picked up to go along with this. So my daughter already has the Snow White that's gonna go with the uh, Snow White's Cottage, uh, but she doesn't have any of the seven dwarfs, which are, of course, a very big part of that cottage because that's where the dwarfs live. Um, so I managed to find four of them, four of the seven. These are so hard to find. I really feel like I looked everywhere. So if you guys happen to know where I could find the ones that I'm missing, I would so very much appreciate it um, if you guys can let me know, but these are the ones that I was able to find. So these are the ones that I'm going to be placing inside of her little stocking along with the, the little bird, um, but I know she's just going to be absolutely thrilled with these. Okay, so let's move on to the very next item. I know that I've mentioned to you uh, guys before that my daughter and my son both love horses. Um, and that's why I purchased those really big pictures that go in their room. Uh, they absolutely love horses. So um, my daughter has a really nice collection of Holtz Tiger and Alzheimer horses but she didn't have anywhere to put them. So I was trying to find a nice sort of stall where she can place all of her horse characters. And I, it was by chance, by luck, that I um, found a vendor off of Facebook who had the Ostheimer uh, barn uh, for sale. So um, I messaged her and we got in contact and I was able to pick this item up from her. If you guys are looking for more Ostheimer items, I do suggest looking on like uh, Marketplace or Facebook or different sort of uh, like natural toy sites and groups because a lot of um, a lot of people sell them secondhand and you'll be able to find them at a lot of a, I don't want to say cheaper because it's still not cheap, but um, just a, a bit of a discounted price than it would if you had purchased it um, from a, you know, a store that actually sells these because these are quite expensive. Um, so let me go ahead and show this to you. So this is the barn and it comes with the 
little ladder that she's able to move and place wherever she wants and that way she can place some of the other animals that she has right up here um it does have a couple of little windows there and the stalls they do open and that's where you would put like the haystacks back there so all three of these open as you can see on this side there are also some doors that open and shut so i think this is going to be really really nice and it's really going to um help with her pretend play i think because now the items instead of being in a basket or somewhere else on, on display they're going to be in here so i think it, it really does help when the items are out on display for your children to actually gravitate towards them Behind me. and play with now them. let's so move good. on to joint items so the one big joint item that i got for basically all three of my kiddos is the jaunty craft easel and it is the one that is back here so let me go ahead and show you a close-up um it is a see-through like acrylic easel and it's so so neat i've been uh holding it back just because i've i've had it for quite a while i ordered it um pretty early on just because i knew that it would take a couple weeks for it to get here um but let me go ahead and show you so this is it you guys this is the jaunty craft easel I actually just finished putting it together um, you can see um, the little holders here so that you can put the paint or the cups or the brushes and it is completely acrylic so they can paint directly on here which is super super neat and I even read a review saying um, that if you place a magnet on on both sides then it'll hold up the paper so they're able to paint on paper as well but I just love it I think it's going to look so great in their playroom which is finally done I can't wait to give you guys a tour of that but this is their big joint joint gift so the other item that I picked up to go along with the jaunty craft easel is a silicone mat um and I guess this goes under the um, heading of like art supplies. Um, but I thought this was really neat because you could place this directly on the table if they're drawing or painting or using markers or whatever. But it's got different individual slots where you can place all of the paint. It even comes with a little area here where you can rest the different brushes. And just more importantly, it, there's not gonna be a whole bunch of paint and stuff all over the table. So it's gonna keep the tables nice and clean and dry. And it's a really decent size. So um, I picked one of these for my daughter and one of these for my son. So I just thought they were really neat. I believe the bigger one is for their water. So I am now actually in the playroom because I had forgotten one thing that I had stashed upstairs in our cedar closet. Like I had hidden it and I completely forgot. So I'm glad I remembered. So I kind of rushed up here since the kids are getting ready for bed. And I wanted to make sure I shared this because this is something that I ordered last year and they had to cancel my order and they weren't able to ship it so we never got it and then they contacted me and they're like hey we're able to ship it now and it is here and i'm so excited because it's such a versatile piece and it makes such a huge difference and i feel like the kids really get uh the use of this item so let me show you what it is so I know that I've shown you this rainbow rocker um, two years ago and I ordered this from a company off Etsy and they custom made it because it is, it's huge. So I, when I was on their site, they actually had a tabletop, which is right here that goes directly on top and then now the rainbow rocker will turn into a usable table. So you would just go ahead and flip it over and then you notice these slots here 
Well, on the base that goes on top, it'll fit snugly on top of that. Look at it, you guys. It fits so perfectly. So whenever they don't wanna use it as a rocker or as a climber, if you turn it the other way, then they can flip it over sideways, add the base, and now it is a usable tabletop. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain to you how happy I am about this because I love being able to use furniture um, in, in different ways as opposed to getting just a whole bunch of different types of furniture. So this is the other gift. So the next item is a joint gift and they are grab it. So I know that I did a whole video uh, showing you all of the different grabbits that we already have in our collection and how I like to utilize them because I think loose parts are just such an amazing way to be able to add to their open-ended play, but also just some normal day-to-day -day lessons. Uh, so let me show you the new ones that I have picked up. Um, I think you're really gonna like these. So this is one of the items that I purchased specifically for my daughter because she just loves being able to carry little trinkets with her in her pocket. And I think these just kind of look like items that you would find on a little nature or a exploration walk. Like this looks like a little mushroom. This one looks like a little egg. This one looks like a pink tulip, a honeycomb, an acorn, a little shell. So I just thought these were so cute and they're so well made. I think she's just going to love these. So these other two items are grabbits that I'm really happy to be adding to our collection. I got a little stone here. Um, but these are the little tulips and they're a really good size. Um, and I just, I love the different variations in color. So there's like the light one, slightly darker up to its darkest color. And like I said, they're a very good size. They're so well made, very, very smooth. So again, I'm so excited to be adding these to our collection along with of course the rainbow mushrooms. So you can just see all of the really, really vibrant colors. I just absolutely love these. We have the little rainbow eggs as well, but we did not have the mushrooms. So I was so excited when I saw that they came out with these two in their collection. So this set is known as their Grab It Wild set. And I absolutely love the design on the box. These are definitely boxes that are worth keeping in my opinion. So this came in a little box just like this. And I absolutely love this because it looks like a box of specimens. Like something that you would um, place on a shelf and be able to explore, learn about them, learn about what they do and how they came about. And I just thought these were going to be so neat. I know my son is really, really going to love these. I love that each of them has a little card explaining uh, what they are and what you can do with them. So just very, very neat overall. And lastly, I got the Rapid Petals. These are so, so beautiful. They're really well made and they've got a really nice thickness to them as well. They're incredibly, incredibly smooth. And I just love the size, especially if your children love to be able to create designs like a mandala. Um, that is the perfect use for a lot of these grabbits. So if I were to place a couple here just to kind of give you an example of what that would look like. We've got something like whoop, something like this. So if you're able to place the petals, you can place them in whatever design that you want. So right now I just kind of created a very simple flower, but then you can utilize a lot of these grabbits to create a really, really pretty design. And I think that the more different colors you're able to include, in your design, I think it just looks so, so neat, but it's nice that your children are able to use that creative aspect and really create a really, really pretty picture. 
So just to kind of give you an idea of what that would look like uh, when it's all covered, it's just really, really beautiful. So let's move on to the items that I purchased for my son. So this is from a new company. I had never actually ordered anything from them. Um, the name escapes me, so I'll make sure to leave it down in the description below if you guys are interested in any of these items. Um, but the first thing is called this little library storytelling book. And it comes with like 40 different coins that have uh, different pictures to help inspire your child to create the story. Um, so you could have them pick out like 10 different tie, uh, 10 different coins and then see how he can tie, he or she can tie the story together. So it's super cute. It comes in this, it looks just like a little book. To open it up and this is how they can keep track of all of those stories. So you'll see that it's got a tiny little book here and then they're able to draw and write their story about either, you know, anything they want or if they're having trouble trying to come up with a story, then this will definitely help them create that story. So these are the individual little tiles. And like I said, there's 40 of them. So I just thought it was, it was just really, really neat. So the next items for my son, I also picked up from the same company. Um, and if I've mentioned this before, my son absolutely loves puzzles. He loves being able to figure out and investigate things. He likes, uh, putting pieces together to come up with explanations. And he's just, he's likes to just basically play detective and he's very, very good at um, memorizing facts and, um, you know, utilizing those types of skills in order to arrive to a conclusion. So I was trying to figure out different ways in which I could, um, get items for him where he is utilizing all of those skills um, that he, you know he really enjoys. So I found these puzzles, which are, uh, they're like murder mystery puzzles. So the way that you're able to figure out who did what is by completing the entire puzzle. So, um, I believe that you start off by reading the story and um, then the finished image will provide all of the clues that are needed in order for you to figure out um, what happened and how you're able to crack that case. So I just thought it was a very unique way and my son absolutely loves doing puzzles. So this was absolutely perfect for him. So I got him two. Uh, I believe, I want to say there are three of them. And I think there's even a book that you could purchase um, as well that kind of ties in. But each of them are 500 pieces, which is absolutely perfect. Um, those are the types of puzzles that my son likes to do. I feel like the larger puzzles are just a little bit more uh, difficult to finish, but 500 pieces are perfect. This is the other one that I picked up. Um, this is about a missing will. So again, if you have a son or daughter that loves to play detective and loves solving mysteries, this is definitely a must. So another item that I picked up for my son that kind of goes along the lines of um, figuring out puzzles um, was this. So this is called the Gravity Maze. Now there are so many reviews on this. Uh, it's a really great, uh, like a STEM tool. So he's supposed to configurate the different cubes in order for the ball, the metal ball to be able to um, start from the beginning and go all the way through. So there are different configurations. There are also different levels. So you have like a beginner, uh, intermediate, expert, um, so I thought this was really, really neat. And it's something that he can uh, place on his desk and he can, uh, you know, work on it as he chooses in his room. So I, I thought it was, I, like I said, I thought it was something that he is definitely gonna utilize. My son just absolutely loves puzzles. Um, he is 
seven and a half years old, so he'll be eight. This is recommended for uh, children ages eight and up. Um, but you know, if your son is anything like mine and he loves being able to piece things together and see how things work, um, then I think this would be a pretty good choice. So the next item that I pick up is the Ostheimer cave, the dragon cave. So I've been searching for this item for a while and um, I was able to pick it up again from the same person that helped me get the barn. So I was again, very, very excited to pick this up. Um, so let me go ahead and show it to you because when I saw it, I was definitely surprised by the size. It is quite a large piece. I was expecting it to be a little smaller. Um, normally, like Colts Tiger and Ostheimer uh, items, you know, they're they're a pretty good scale. Um, but I figured it would probably be roughly around the same scale as, you know, like something like this but the cave is actually quite large. So I was very pleasantly surprised. So let me go ahead and show it to you. So this is the cave and comes in two pieces. And like I said, it's, it's a fairly large, large piece. So this is going to be perfect for when he sets up his castle and he plays with his knights and horses and when they fight off that dragon, now the dragon has a cave to hide in. So just to kind of help you out with picturing the scale, you know, this is my hand. And I mean, I fit all the way back here. So it is, it's fairly large. But um, like all Ostheimer items, it's just very, very beautifully made. And I'm just super excited because I know my son is really going to love it. And we finally made it to the very last item. So the last item, I guess you can say is kind of a joint gift. It's a family gift. Um, our family really loves playing games and puzzles and cards and just things that we can do together. So I was kind of on the hunt for something that we could all enjoy as a family. And we have a whole uh, wardrobe just filled with, you know, games, especially for these cold kind of rainy uh, nights out here. Uh, they've been perfect. So I was able to find one that had so many reviews. I mean, thousands of reviews and it's like five stars each time. So let me go ahead and show you what game I picked up. So this game is called Clask and it's kind of like the, um, like the puck game that you play at arcades where you have to shoot the puck into, you know, the specific hole. Um, so this is kind of a tribute to that, except, you know, in miniature size and you have a magnet that is connected to uh, the little figure here. And then that's how you use that to move in order to try and make it into your corresponding goal. But like I said, it's got so many awards, so many great reviews. And um, even though it's got, you know, an interesting name and it's something that maybe you guys have never heard of because I definitely had not. I think this is going to be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to opening this one um, alongside my husband and my kiddos on Christmas Day. And that is it you guys. I hope that this gave you plenty of inspiration and ideas for gifts that you can still purchase just before uh, Christmas. I'm sorry again that it was a little, you know, a little bit later than I would have liked, um, but it does take a little while for items to arrive here. Um, but I hope that you loved this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like, make sure to subscribe. I think this is going to be the last video for us for the year, so we will see you back here next year. Thank you guys again for joining us, and we'll see you back here very, very soon. Bye!